Hey everybody, how you doing? Xfinity B Open Series at Dover International Speedway, the Monster Mile. I'll be in the number 12 car today, the UPS Ford Mustang. I'll be starting 8th in a field of 24, and we're going to go 110 laps. Dover International Speedway, a one mile true high bank oval, 24 degree banking in the turns, 9 degree banking on the straightaways. Known as the Monster Mile, it will spawn the big one. Couple cars get together on the straightaways and the track will close up in a heartbeat. Alright, Dover. Uh, wow. I jumped into this. This is just after the change on Monday night. This is the first race time slot. I believe this is the second of two splits. A lot of drivers uh, were in the practice lobby. There's uh, about 24 cars here in this race. I qualified eighth, wow. At 24 cars. I'm in the number 12 car and I qualified eighth. I get around Dover not too bad here. One in the street stock here. This car's kind of squirrely down the straight on the concrete here, so we'll see how it goes. I'm using the Gen X setup for season 203 at Dover. I made no changes. I've only done about a dozen laps here. Hopefully I don't wreck and take everybody out. This strength of field for this race is in my uh, this strength of field is pretty close to me. I'm mid pack, you know, car number 12. Now, I wasn't going to qualify, but then my practice time was pretty good, so I thought I'd qualify. I was thinking I could be up in the top five and finished, finished out here, you know, starting in eighth in the number 12 car. All right, the Monster Mile. This has been a surprise. I can get this 17. Scott, be patient. Long, long way to go. No real pressure from behind. Ooh, they're getting dicey right up ahead of me. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. They kept going in the right direction. Everybody backed off, including the guy behind me. Awesome job. We should be able to get past this 15 here now. Ooh, 
Ooh, and I kiss the wall. I'm gonna let that car go. I imagine tire wear is gonna be rather dramatic here. All right, I'm actually in the sixth spot now, and we have a caution. That was an intense little seven laps. One to go. I believe it'll be on the inside. You're behind the 17. One minute, 19.796. All right, got the screen recorder going now, so we're watching the live version instead of the replay version of the in-car cockpit. All right, so far I've gained a net one position since the start. That was pretty cool. Uh, first seven laps there. Car feels good to me. I'm guessing tire wear is going to be rather significant on this concrete track. I have not run that many laps prior to jumping into this race. My goal of the race would be a top 10. Out of the 24. Of our fan, Delta Tate. Be ready to go. He's gonna hold us, gonna hold us, gonna hold us. There he goes. Spin. Clear, clear, clear. Quarter on the side. Still on the side. Clear high. Clear, clear, clear. Outside. Boy, that 19. I wish he'd get going. You know what time it is? Crank that knob to 11. Let him go. I'm thinking we're going to want to stay out here, bud, but I'll leave that up to you. Wow, got through it somehow. No, open. no close, close. I think we should be behind at 11. Wow, I don't know how I got through that. Come around the same car. Let me be behind at 11. Well, that 19 really jacked up the whole works. I tried to play uh, conservative, and I think that was the right thing to do. Got a couple of them get by me. 
Tried the 19 on the high, that didn't work. Got him on the low. I'm not sure what car that was that was all over me. We were, uh, I was thinking about letting him go and then the caution came out and I see in the rearview mirror he he uh, he spun. You know, I was on the brakes hard, he was on the brakes hard. I'm I had no contact in that. Wow. Bunch of them up front, like the fourth, fifth position, I believe, is the ones that got wrecked. I'm not coming in for tires. Uh, maybe Looks like they're be lining up behind the 14. Got some damage. I'm showing an eighth right now. Ooh, that car behind me is all tore up. Still showing an eighth. Oh, sixth, sixth position now with the two that peeled off. Well, that was a big one. I, I'm watching my map. You're not seeing it. Half the field is in the pits. Wow. Just about everybody behind me got caught up in that. I can't wait to see the replay on the... Uh, it just worked out. I dove left. I dove right. Oh, man. That car to my right, he did a very good job also. We didn't get together. Replays. Fourth and fifth get together. Ooh, 21 gets on its lid. And then the track starts to close up. I'm able to weave it on through, but then behind me, they're stacking up, and look at that track close up. Speed shot. Easy flip for the 21. I somehow, it starts to close up. It doesn't look that bad right there. In, in car, it's horrible. <laughs> All right, rough cam. This ought to be kind of wild. Way up ahead of me, they're starting to spin and wreck. Several cars get together on the brakes. I'm on the brakes hard. A little left, a little right. Doesn't look too bad there in the end car. It's a lot more intense. Out the rear deck. All right, number nine car. He's going to be real cognizant of the whole situation. He's going to stay right off me. But unfortunately, he gets booted by the 19. And then you see that track close up. And another one get upside down. One more time from the end car. God, God. Looks a little more intense I in this view here. You saw that track close up just about the whole field behind me. Well, that thinned out quite a few of the front runners. I'm checking my rear view mirror. 24 car field, there is literally nobody behind me. There's one car, two car, three car. One of them is missing a hood, has a whole bunch of damage. Well, that accident avoidance there is really going to help me out, I, I believe, with the rest of the field half wrecked. They're all showing blue. We're, I mean, there's so much blue on my race map, it's not even funny. sitting a hell of a lot but he, on my map again you should just see all the cars on the pit road and how many are blue which means they're a lap down thirteenth place car is the first car a lap down I don't think the outside will be too bad here compared to other tracks and so far I've gotten some really good restarts, uh, a good start and a good restart on that first caution. Been able to clear the guy to my outside. You can see that we got a tremendously wrecked car in the rear view mirror. So this uh, All right, Earl. Get it up, buddy. fifth place car here, let him go and then slide in. That was all. One minute thirteen point eight. Boy, it just two, caught. Two, inside, inside, inside. I missed a shift just about. Holy smokes! The guy behind me is probably going. Hang on to it, buddy.
Watch your forward drive there towards the end of that little run we just did. The road is closed. Looks like you'll be lining up behind the five. All right, we need to be behind the five. Well, I did wiggle. Line up behind the five. Good road is open. And maybe he did too. Well, that was all on me. That was a horrible restart. Smacked the wall. Now, I'm not going to get tires this time, but I will come in and take a look at the damage. Incredibly, it's still showing me in 10th. Come in and fix a little damage. Okay, three minutes of damage is not too bad. They're on the back stretch even with me. Should be one more pace lap after this one, I would think. Turn three. Incredibly, it's showing me in the top ten. I'm just thinking any amount of work I can get done. Go, 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 go. What? What? Wow. Okay, drop to end, excessive speeding in pits. So is there no black flag? Looks like you should be lining up behind the 13. Get those belts good tug too, but you're ready to go. Hi, Bob, man, big dog. get across how hard this car is rocking back and forth on the steering wheel. These pavement lines. 
Okay, this guy behind me with no hood is not for position, so... He appears to be faster than me. I'm going to let him go. Crack off some laps. I still have tires to get. Hanging out in 12th position. As the tires have worn in here, I can get into the gas a little sooner without the rear end coming around. Almost at the apex instead of the entry to four. See, hold it, hold it, yep, yep. Of course, you're pushing and plowing, I think, when you're doing that. Well, I have a position up here on the relative board, a white car, white name. Boy, he's all over the place. Ooh, I blow the entry there. Rotate, come on. Twenty-five point four eight one. Nobody behind me. Twenty-five point one eight two. Oh, I just blew up. Well, that was a surprise. Well, that was a surprise. I noticed I was on the chip quite a bit. I wonder if, you know, this is the setup that was provided, so I would think that the gearing would be all right. Or you know, I probably knocked the oil uh, cooler loose when I hit the wall. Well, that's a shits. Okay. It happens. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop on the sign. All right, give me tires, guys, for the video. All right, well, uh, started out pretty good. I, I screwed myself. I got caught up in a wreck that I probably started with wiggling. You know, maybe he wiggled too. We'll go back and look at the replay here or whatever, but... We're pretty even there, and then yeah, I do come down. I, I wiggle that con that concrete expansion joint, kind of gives me a little wiggle there. And we're gonna see it here. See, I move left, I move left, I move left, and then he hooks me at the exact same time. He did kind of come up just a little bit. We'll see in the other replays. Hard impact on the ball, messed up my radiator, and some of you eagle eyes might have noted my water temperature was blinking red. All right, out my rear deck, it looks pretty calm, pretty calm, but I do just, I hit that joint, that expansion joint up on either wall there, and that just wiggled the car enough. And he was coming up a little bit, but 
You know, I wiggled, he came up a little bit all on that one. You know, the car was all over the place. Not handling the best with the front end missing. This is from his view. Everything looks good and then we just, we just get together there. I wiggled and came down about a quarter of a car width and that's all it took. And put both of us, me and the 13 in wall. Sorry about that, 13. From the driver behind us, everything looks good. You can see I wiggle. I wiggle a little bit, he comes up a little bit, and that's that's all she wrote. I, I just can't get across to you how, on the expansion joints on the concrete here, how this car wiggles. Wow. Well, I did have a lot of fun here at my first trip in the Xfinity car at the Monster Mile. Uh, I, I dodged a couple wrecks, dog, dodged a big one. Uh, the expansion joints, you know, the car wiggling back and forth. I'm going to play around with tire pressure, see if I can't get that uh, fixed just a little bit. It's, it's like driving an old car on bias ply tires. Wow. Post-race results, I did start in 8th position. I ultimately finished in 19th position, 66 laps down. Uh, with all that and the laps that I turned, didn't take too bad of a hit on my safety rating. I had fun and did a little bit better than I thought I would in qualifying and overall running. Just got to get a better handle on the car, and I'm going to do that next time. A quick note on the car wiggling on those expansion joints. If I found out that if I loosened my grip on the steering wheel and just let the steering wheel rock a little bit and the car go where it wanted to be, the wiggling uh, was not nearly as bad. Uh, that was just a, something that I found out and something I'm have to remember and do every time. A lot of that wiggling has to do with the tire wear. Fresh, uh, cool, warm tires, not so bad. Tires get a little bit worn, the wiggle shows up. All right, guys, thanks for coming along for the ride, and we'll see you next time.